Hey everybody, welcome to Q&A video number 28. Make sure you keep asking questions, doesn't matter about it, it can be about anything. Uh, just know that I don't respond to review requests or Let's Play requests in these videos, but I do respond to them in the comments. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with a question from Mr. Dark Twister. Yo, D! How does it feel having to upgrade your PC and having uh, installing games before playing them? Consoles are easier to manage, as in, buy a game and run it. Ta-da! Still, do you ever get doubts about being a PC gamer? No, I don't get any doubts about it, because it's just something I like doing. I like the controls, especially on first-person shooters and strategy games, uh, and sometimes role-playing games. It depends on the game in question. But for the most part, I just prefer playing games on PC anyway. It's not necessarily a matter of, oh, it's easier on console. Because now that consoles actually can install things, and a lot of people do install them because it makes it load faster, it's not all that different. As for putting the disc in and playing, yeah, it's a little bit simpler, but the discs can be really damaged if you have your console set up wrong. Like if you have the uh, Xbox 360 on its uh, side, for instance, as opposed to lying flat, um, then, uh, I mean vertical as opposed to uh, horizontal, uh, then it'll actually mess up the discs if you do it wrong. So uh, you got to be careful with that. And it's pretty easy to screw up console discs, to, uh, so that's a pretty big problem. And on PC, you have a lot of cheaper games, too, so it doesn't really bother me. As, a, as for um, upgrading the PC, that does get annoying, but it's about the same time that you upgrade your console anyway. Well, not upgrade, just get a new one. So it's not that huge of a deal. Uh, I mean, my system right now, I built in 2008, and it's still going strong. There's nothing wrong with that. So ultimately, it's not that big of a deal. It's just something different from consoles, and that's how it works out. Next question is from Omega Wolf Studios. Do you think that Japanese gamers are somewhat nationalistic, as in they only play Japanese games and they shun the Xbox or PC platforms? Hmm. I know they shun Xbox uh, a little bit, uh, but it's, they do have them there. As for PC, they're pretty much non-existent in terms of PC games, and I don't really know why. And it's, I guess it's just always been that way, and they just feel like they can't sell any PC games there. Uh, the only noteworthy uh, PC Japanese games that I've uh, seen come out in the last few years, basically the Yeast series, and that's YS, by the way. Uh, at least I think I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know. But other than that, I can't really think of any PC releases, yeah. But um, are they nationalistic? I don't know. I think it's more of a matter of this is how things are over in Japan. Uh, you just don't find PC games or Xbox all that much over there. And people are just so used to PlayStation and Nintendo systems that they just go with those instead. It's probably more what it is rather than being nationalistic. I don't really know if they are or not. I haven't talked to Japanese gamers, so that's the way that goes. Next one is from the Raz18. After last year's disaster demo of NBA Live, last autumn solely NBA 2K12 got released. I am a fan of NBA 2K, and I'm looking forward to the, see the new one. Additionally, I am happy to see a uh, happy that new NBA Live or what, whatever they're going to call it will come out, so the gamers will be able to compare basketball games again. What's your position on that, if you have one? Meaning, what's your opinion on sports games overall? Did how did you perceive this development if you followed it? I didn't follow this development because I don't go into sports games at all. If I figure if I'm going to play a sport, then I'm just going to play the sport. I'm not going to sit there and play a video game based on the sport. Unless, of course, it's NBA Jam, which is absolutely hilarious. But, um, that was something I discovered very early on, and that, that's the reason I don't really have any sports games. I don't like them. I just prefer playing the sports themselves. Now, there are a select few games that I do like playing, but other than that, there really isn't anything. And so I don't really care about sports games at all. They're all the same anyway. They just update the rosters and maybe the graphics in between games. That's about it. Okay, next one is from LOLZ261. <laughs> uh, who's the most angry person you've seen that responded to you? If you can think of one, what did this person do and how did you respond to them? Oh boy, I've had a lot of angry people respond to me over the years. I had people go berserker over me for my Shadow of Chernobyl review. I've had them go even worse for the Team Fortress 2 review, which I just didn't like the, either of those games. And people go off on me saying I'm full of shit and that I'm uh, that there's something wrong with me for not enjoying them, and that I need it's, it's all sorts of horrible things that they said to me sometimes. 
And um, ultimately, they're kind of proving my point in the Team Fortress 2 review, so I thought it was hilarious to watch those guys. But um, how do I respond to them? Usually I ignore them. Or I read their comments, and then I kind of chuckle to myself on the inside because they're probably very insecure people, and that's the way that goes. But I usually just ignore them, or I block them. And, and a lot of cases I do actually block them. If they do it once and never again, then more often than not I don't actually do anything, if, depending on how severe it is. But usually I just block them and ignore them. So that's the way that goes. Next one is from Jews Finn. The age-old question, who would win in a fight, the European knight or the Japanese samurai? It's the 1500s, and they meet in an open field. The knight has his full-plate armor, bastard or long sword, and a dagger. The samurai has his armor, katana, and a wakizashi. <laughs> oh, did you not see um, Deadliest Warrior? Oh, wait, that was... I can't remember what that was. Was that samurai against... I can't remember what it was. It was pirate against knight, I know, but it was samurai against somebody. But it was funny. Um, as for who would win, it really depends. I mean, on the Japanese side of thing, you would have a warrior whose armor isn't quite as strong as the knight's, but at the same time, his sword's better. Not as good for thrusting, but because that's what you really need to do to get around plate armor. But it's... Uh, I don't really know. Uh, if the... Samurai applies himself and does uses tactics to his advantage, then he'll probably win, but it, the knight himself has the advantage in armor, so that could be the deciding factor there. But, I don't know. I really don't know. It'd be interesting to see, though. I can tell you that. Well, there you go, folks. That was Q&A uh, number 28, so make sure you keep asking questions, and I will catch you guys in later videos.